A controversial new study recommends removing teen sex offenders from the registry. New at 10, Eyewitness News reporter Katherine Bilkey learned why the study says keeping them on it could actually do more harm than good. Sex offenders who committed a crime when they were under 18 are likely to end up on this. State registries that share their face, where they live, and what they did. But this report from Human Rights Watch challenges the policy they say is based on a misconception. Some people here in Charlotte agree. Oh, they're not getting the kids a chance to grow up and try to become something. I found dozens of offenders in our area that committed their crimes when they were teenagers and they've been on the registry for years. According to the report, that means they're restricted from certain jobs and can't live in certain places. I think they need to try to give them a chance. I mean, because when they get older, it's going to be hard for them to get a job. Then they're going to be out here. They're going to be doing some worse than like selling drugs or robbing people. But a mother of a victim says the registry protects if it, if it kids. If it happened to one of their children, they would understand where I'm coming from. This teen, Alex Littlejohn, was convicted of sexual battery last year, and this mother tells us she's haunted by what he did to her daughter. She's glad he's on the registry and wants him to stay there. Because in your opinion, part of doing the time is being on the registry. That is correct. That is correct. And for someone to, to not want an individual, individual's name to be on the sex offenders registry, I, I just don't understand why. She thinks the registry is a community tool. The public still um, has the right to know that someone in their community uh, sexually violated a, a child, uh, regardless of their age. Catherine Bilkey, Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 10.